Cha ching What's up, YouTube? I'm Super Dan the Shoe Man. I'm back with another video today. Another shoe unboxing. I haven't recorded a shoe unboxing, even though I have 14 pairs of shoes over here, still in shipping boxes from at most like two and a half years ago now that I need to unbox and do unboxing videos on. But this is the one I have to do now. I'm a little unhappy with the vendor on this one. We'll talk about that more in a second. But before we get any further, Atticus, a word from our sponsor. Who is our sponsor? Jesus. Jesus, thank you. Matthew chapter 27, verse 46. Jesus was hanging from the cross. He looks up to heaven in his agony. He says, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? God was turning his back on Jesus at that moment. Even though Jesus in all of his perfection was perfect, he had all of our sins on his back and God had to turn his back, his back on Jesus because of that. Hebrews chapter 13, verses five, verse 5, God says that he'll never leave us or forsake us. And that's because Jesus was taking all of the forsaking for us. Thank you so much for taking that forsaking for us, Jesus. All right, uh, let's get into the shoe. So this, you can see I have my Amam and Yers out here. I got an Amam and Yer 3, the original sneaker of the year of like 2020 or 2021, 2021, whatever, whatever year it was. And... Uh, Pretty much hands down the sneaker of the year. This is the While You Were Sleeping 3. It's okay. Um, I'm probably going to keep it, but I'm not 100% sure I haven't worn that yet. And this is, and I haven't worn this either because I wear all my shoes. I got my Travis's that I've worn. One, two, three, four, or three pairs. I haven't worn that pair because Trent hasn't worn his. Um, what other expensive pairs do I have that I wear? My University ones up there on the top. I've worn those. My Concords, I've worn those. My Bread 4s, my uh, the blue one, please. Yeah. Of course, that's not. They got. I'm talking about hyped, more expensive things. I've worn my mm. my Union fours, which Union is a, isn't a big deal anymore. But I do tend to wear my shoes. This one, I don't know why I can't bring myself to do it. Um, I did get these aftermarket. I got them at. Uh, what's the name of the place? JB's. JB's. I don't even know what that is. Sneakers? No, the, the little store with the eagle sticker. Huh? Falcons? The eagle sticker. The Falcon sticker. The store, though. Memory Lane. Atlanta, which is not there anymore. Uh, but anyways, I definitely wanted to go for these fours. They were supposed to be more hyped than there, than there was. They ended up kind of flopping. They're, they're, they're not selling for anything over retail. And, you know, that's what I normally try to do. I try to get something that I can get for over retail because I don't need any more shoes. I really don't need these. I don't need these either. I don't need these for that matter. Um, that I can make a video on and then at least sell them for what I got, what I got them for, what the money that I have in them. Uh, but I was a little worried about this and I wanted to get it early. So I went ahead for the Amamaniere drop. Um, my buddy Cameron helped me out. So thank you, Cameron, for, for grabbing these for me um, because my phone wasn't working right. And I was talking to him about it at the time, so he handled it for me. But knowing that Amam and Yer charges shipping, and it was just shipping I had to pay for this time. I didn't get into the raffle, and the raffle cost like six bucks, too. I should have done an in-store raffle, but probably would have been the same result for these. And it took them like three weeks to get shipped. Most people, almost everybody, got their Nike drop, their sneakers drop Amam and Yer for us before... Uh, I'm on here. Even ship theirs. I do finally have them. You know, it's not that big a deal as far as the shoes go. It just kind of sucks for a YouTuber. Um, the hype on these is completely gone now. So this video is probably not going to do very great. But I want to take a look at these for myself anyway. Um, and again, I might, I might keep them. I might wear them. Um, Mike Rich, he opened his, and they were also in the box upside down. So that's a little weird. Uh, this is the box for the, the while you were sleeping three we get the same box it is pretty cool the way that it opens and then it's got this um, um, year, uh, logo on this flip up lid here um i do like the older um and year boxes one of these boxes here yeah. I, I think i like this better what do you think you like better which box yep, i like that better <clears throat> this one this is the box to these. Um, Hesper also mm. has these fours, and they also came in this box. I don't know where either of those boxes are. They're somewhere over there. Um, I think I like that one better, but this is still pretty cool. I mentioned this in that video. Oh, this is really nice. I like this, and it's kind of still a box within a box in here, so that's also pretty cool. What I think is not an, a good thought, I just think the execution was poor. This just looks like a dinner napkin. 
Remember when I said that about this box? Like, you know, when, when we eat on the cruise in the in the nice restaurant for dinner mm -hmm. and they have cloth napkins? This looks like one of those napkins. So, whatever. Um, like I said, it's a good thought. It looks fancy, but then again, it kind of does. So let's get one of these out. I want to take a look at this. Okay. All right. This is about the color that I expected. It doesn't look much too... Oops, I don't want this to fall. It doesn't look that much different in person than uh, than the pictures. So, hmm? no. what do you think? I like them a lot. You like them a lot. I think I like them a lot too. I think I like this four better though. Mm -mm. No? Okay. I do like the suede. Um, looks like we got... This actually looks like the older, the newer cut, which is also not the old, old OG cut for the old, old OG cut for would be like the military blue fours that we just got and the bread fours that we just got. The leather bread fours are more closely, they more closely resemble the OG four cut. This is, kind of, I think this is kind of back to the other one. Or it might be kind of a, a little bit of both. I'm not really sure. Um, let's see what we got here. We got a pair of, uh, it's probably sail laces. I do like the I'm over hang, hang tags pretty much all the time. They're very similar. The purple's a little bit different color on this OG3. Um, what I'm not a huge fan of in these Amamaniers, uh, they all have this quilted satiny liner, and the fours of these are the only ones I've worn so far. And my foot slides around a little, and yeah, I've got them laced pretty loose, uh, and I can help fix that by lacing it better, but uh, they're actually really uncomfortable. The yeah. fours are really uncomfortable. I wore a muzz and they, I, they were sliding around. These? My, These? Yeah. Yeah. And they made the insole like literally fabric. This? Yeah. No, the. It was like a little dot sealed. Yeah, this. Yeah. Yeah, it's quilted and satin. Yeah, my foot slides around. And, and they slide, yeah. So I don't know if that's what make my make, makes my feet hurt or it's something else with these fours. I also had, this is a size 12 and a half in women's. It's a, it's my size 11 in men's. But I also had a size 10 and a half Jordan 4 Neon, which is like the uh, gray SB looking um, Jordan 4. And that killed my feet. I mean, that was a size too small. That was just the size they had at the resale shop when I bought them. Um, maybe it was that, or maybe some fours are just a little bit different and they hurt my feet. Uh, we see that there is, while you were sleeping here, printed on the footbed under the insole. I can't see it. Like a little. You can kind of see the writing. Okay. Well, it says while you're asleep. I'm pretty cool, I guess, but it's, you know, completely hidden. Um, we do get a decent polyurethane. It's not very thick, but we get a polyurethane insole, so we always like it when we get those. Um, the colors are a little kind of blah to me. I wish it had more of this purple in it. You know? Yeah. Like maybe this same piece, like this is kind of the, same, the, the similar piece from the floor, the block, uh, where we could use that color purple, and, and, and also maybe if it was this color, the same. This is pretty much the same color purple. Um, aglets are pretty cool. They say work and harder, I believe. Yeah, work harder. Um, the leather, it's weird. I like the way this leather feels up here and around here. I don't like it right here. I'm not really sure why. I think it just has to do with the way that I know that it's gonna gonna crease. So I may make a video on that if I end up wearing these because I do believe that the way that these things are made, they're gonna crease really badly. Uh, one other thing I want to check here that I think would make a huge difference if they do something on the tongue on this one, you get this little metal or hard plastic shiny Amoniere A. On the back, yeah, on the back of both of them, we get Nike Air with the swoosh. I think it would be really cool if they put that Amam in the air like this here. Yeah. I also like this big stitched Amam in the air a whole lot better than this, but this is okay. This one just has the jump man on it. So, oh. Oh. Yeah, that's a lot of, uh, a lot of glue which sometimes is unusual, not always. I mean, it, it's not always, it, 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 it happens sometimes, but a lot of the times, most of the time from Nike, they don't smell like that. We know what normally smells really bad, like like glue most of the time, and this kind of smells like that. But this one, I mean, this one didn't come straight from Nike. You came straight from Amon here. 
I do think I'm going to keep them. And actually, I will probably wear these before I wear these. What about these two? These are the two while you were sleeping Jordans, the, the three and the four. Which one do you like better? I like the four. The four? I don't know, man. I think I like the three better. I like that this is lighter colors, but I like the, the gray on, on this uh, suede a whole lot better. You get the purple, at least a little bit better purple here on the collar it just looks like flat this looks flat it's because all the black I, I i i think this would be cooler if it didn't have so much like it would look even better i think i like this one better i don't know y'all y'all need to comment down below and tell me what you think about these i don't know what else i can say about this i'm in year for i'm 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 okay with it i don't hate it um oh this is this is another thing i miss on this as well this little button i don't know why i like that on this for a little um, I'm in the air button there. I wish this was here. I could probably get this off of here and just stick it together. That'd be pretty cool. So, y'all tell me what you think about these um, I'm in the air while you were sleeping for us. There's several more pairs of while you were sleeping uh, from the uh, while you were sleeping release that are still yet to come out. I think there's an Air Max that's still going to come out, or maybe a couple more. I don't think I'm interested in most of those. Uh, Jordans have a special place in my heart. I like them so, so I'm not completely sure why, but I really like them. Um, and I really like the most of the um, I'm in the air collabs. You know, this obviously is the best ever and kind of gets have kind of has gotten people hooked i know it's gotten me hooked on the on air collabs um even though nothing else has even gotten close uh, but i'm definitely not interested in any of those other on the air collabs so you don't tell me what you think about the rest of those is there anything y'all are waiting to go for and if you haven't watched my carnivore videos i'm down after three weeks no i think you're gonna see this video before you see my three week video after two weeks i'm down 22 pounds maybe it was 23 22 or 23 pounds um just two weeks of all old beef salt and water so go back and watch those videos i've got three videos two or no i've got a i've got an initial starting out video i've got a one week video and then i've got a two week video that will be posted that are already posted that as i'm recording this i don't and, and I'm, i am three weeks in but i'm not going to post that video before you see this so uh, you'll go back and watch all those subscribe to make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you get all those updates because I'm going to keep going with this. And it's pretty remarkable at the results, the, the health benefits, the feeling benefits of this diet. Um, all beef, salt, and water. So smash the like button, tell me what you think about these shoes. Which one of all of these do you like better? Which one of the while you were sleepings, the three and the fours, do you like better? I'll tell your grandma about these Amam and Year fours. I'll see y'all next time. <laughs> you're so pretty. I'm so bad. Shoes. <laughs> <laughs> mm. oh. Shoes. And I like shoes. <laughs> Fire. It's so cute. <laughs>